I found SMSU my sophomore year of high school. I went to a college fair. Um, I believe it was St. Paul. And I was 15 at the time, went with a couple of friends. Um, I never heard about SMSU prior at all until I found one of their stands. And a big thing that pointed out to me was definitely exercise science. Um, I could tell that that was a big advertisement for the school as they had like a big banner there. And that's what kind of like initiated my college response on like why I wanted to go exercise science um, to look into the career field of a personal trainer and a strength and conditioning coach. After graduating high school, I enlisted into the United States Army Reserve. I was gone for training for about eight months, but shortly after when I came back, I decided to attend school here full time. Big reason was because at the time, I noticed that SMSU was ranked highly in the state of Minnesota as a yellow ribbon school. I'm still currently active in the United States Army Reserves and oftentimes I have to miss school, but luckily at SMSU, the professors are flexible with my schedule, which allows me to be a full-time student and continue my military obligations. Ready? One, two, three. Hey. Yes, thank you. Want yeah. me to move these? Yes. Yep. That good or? Yeah. All right. Dr. Chris Cleveland has really helped me solidify my decision in pursuing physical therapy. She's incredibly active on campus and runs a physical therapy clinic where we work with a lot of disabled students as well as student athletes and has allowed me to apply the information I learned in class into the clinic and further assess my own physical capabilities. I first got involved with a physical therapy clinic on campus my first semester here at SMSU and I do it twice a week on Mondays and Wednesdays for two hours. Today in physical therapy clinic, we're gonna be working with Cody who has spina bifida. And so Cody has lower extremity limitations where he cannot properly move his leg. So today I'm gonna to be doing passive range of motion on his leg so he can improve motion within the joints and increase flexibility of the muscles. Well, <laughs> Do you want me to get aggressive? Yeah, I don't care, just don't break my leg. <laughs> If Cody doesn't do these stretches daily, he can lose mobility of his joints. His, his muscles could get tight as well, and that could potentially lead to either injury or pain. My career goal is to be a physical therapist, more specifically a sports physical therapist. Um, SMSU and Dr. Cleveland have helped me because I'm able to shadow and observe how Dr. Cleveland goes about treating patients we will assess clients and provide exercise prescription and we will literally see improvements with our clients in either weeks or months and seeing that is a great experience because it shows that like the information that you learn like in class and all that being applied onto the clinical field and seeing how much easier it can make somebody's life is very impactful. My plans are to apply to physical therapy school and as a requirement to apply to physical therapy school, I need about 100 observation hours, depending on the school. With a physical therapy clinic at SMSU, I could potentially have anywhere between 250 to 300 observation hours. If you were to do observation hours at other places, more likely than not, you wouldn't be able to do hands-on and work with uh, patients as closely as we do here.